r slash ask credit. What feels orgasmic without being Excel or doing drugs? When you've been swimming, and water becomes trapped in your ear despite your stomping and shaking your head. And then later, when you've made peace with the fact you'll have water in your ear forever, it miraculously lets loose and flows out. And it's always slightly warm. Body heat. Yo. Peeing after you've been holding it far too long. I did an experiment my first year of college trying to figure out exactly what the most pleasurable non excel experience was. I initially started out setting my alarm at 3 in the morning, so that I could experience the pleasant feeling of being able to go back to sleep after being woken up in the middle of the night. Did it for about 2 weeks, but quit because it made me so tired during the day. Would not recommend 3 tenths. The second thing I tried was sneezing. I induced sneezing with ground pepper and other aerosolized powders, and while it was pleasant, I sneezed very hard, my skin on the inside of my nose got super irritated and it hurt to breath, after about 3 days of inducing sneezing every 2 hours. Would certainly not recommend 2 tenths. The third thing I tried was scratching an itch. I'm mildly allergic to mosquitoes, and where I went to college had swarms of them around sunset, so I stripped down to my underwear, and stood out at dusk for 2 hours, and got well over a hundred bites. I then set a 7 minute timer, and would scratch my whole body for 15 seconds, but only at 7 minute intervals. I was a disgusting bloody mess. What wasn't bloody had the clear sticky plasma fluid that got stuck to my clothes and hurt when it would rip off. But it was very rewarding, and was very pleasurable during those 15 seconds of glory. Would kinda recommend 6 tenths. The next thing I did, was the pleasure of eating when being very hungry. Old saying in Spanish saying, that hunger is the best cook, I decided to fast for 6 days, and eat the 7th day. Sunday to Friday fast. Saturday have breakfast, pun very much intended. I had a miserable first couple of days. But Thursday and Friday I felt really good. Had a test on Friday, felt clear headed had good energy it was a really great experience. Saturday rolled around. I went to the cafe got a big plate of French toast. Tata tots the works, and sat down to eat. It was remarkable unsatisfactory. Didn't feel all that hungry. The food taste was overwhelmingly sweet. And maybe 4 or 5 bites and I felt so it was a great experience to fast, but did not provide a pleasurable sensation. Would not recommend to pleasure speakers, but it was a surreal experience. So 7 tenths. Two weeks after I attempted to do the exact opposite. The pleasure of voiding, after having a lot in the bowel. I'm a vegetarian, so I usually consume a lot of fiber, but noted that, when the stool was a little firmer I really enjoyed pooping. So I decided to hold my head for as long as possible and consume very little fiber. I went without pooping for 4 days and what followed has had to have been one of the most painful experiences of my life. I sat on the toilet for well over an hour just pushing what seemed to be a giant rock hard megaphone seemingly getting wider the more I pushed. I thought just crowning was bad. But the worst was after an inch pushed out my sphincter couldn't close again and it remained stretched out for the remainder of the log. It felt like I had a burning hot metal rod up my ass. After some research I learned it's called the ring of fire. I did learn the most effective way of pushing out solid it's is to bend over so your chest is on your knees, and begin to push, while writing your back up straight. It winches the it out. One painful ducking millimeter at a time. Would not wish on my worst enemy. This one was really bad zero tenths. The last one was the pleasure of peeing, after holding it in. I remember as a child having the most pleasant dealings after a long car ride, or when I peed myself. Let's start with the duck up. I decided to do this during finals week. I started on Monday night, and held it no problem till Tuesday night. Stayed up late studying for my history final, and ended up falling asleep, and waking up 5 minutes after the exam. Rushed out hadn't quite processed the fact that I needed to pee, was planning on peeing before the test. It was a long form essay test and I could not keep still. No amount of moving, fidgeting, and grinding down on my pen could distract me from the fact that I needed to pee. About 30 minutes in I waddled to the teacher and begged her to let me go to the bathroom, but she refused saying I could be cheating. 
I ran to my seat wrote the fasted 5 pages in my life and an agonizing 20 minutes later I ran. Hand clamped on my foreskin. The 200 feet to the bathroom and in the half a second it took to let go of my foreskin and pull down my pants. Started pissing all over the place but managed to aim and reach the urinal the final 10 feet of shuffling with my pants around my ankles. I nearly melted on the floor the feeling was beyond orgasmic. I was slouched over the divider with my bearers out and peed for well over a minute. I think a few people walked in and must have stared cause I was cold shivering. Half humping with every clench. But it never ended. It seemed like the sensations of the pee coming to an end was just my muscles getting tired from so much pushing. I finished peeing and just hung there on the divider for a few more seconds as the last drip oozed out and the pleasure waves washed over me. I would absolutely recommend it. It has only been bested by one or two orgasms and just thinking of it makes my kegel muscles pucker with anticipation. 10 tenths. As is customary with my friends I will say this story is 95% true. Not lying about the peeing though that was so amazing I couldn't exaggerate it if I tried. TL. Dr. Foreskin save bathroom floors. Edit. Wow thank you everybody. This was such a fun experience to open up Reddit and find such a warm group of you. This is where I'm supposed to lament my highest rated comment. But duck it's a great top comment I had fun reliving all my experiences. Thanks for the gold strangers. I stripped down to my underwear and stood out at dusk for 2 hours and got well over a hundred bites. What the duck is wrong with you? Getting into bed when you're utterly exhausted at the end of the day. But instead I'm browsing reddit carrot. I've got work in 6 hours. I'll help carrot 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 meee. -E -E. I can still get 5 hours of sleep. I can still get 4 hours of sleep. I can still get 3 hours of sleep. Sneezing. Getting your back scratched. Finally getting to pee after waiting a while on a long car ride or something. You a dog. You ever had your back scratched bud? Taking off your shoes and socks after a hard day at work. Scratching your sock and dented ankles. Oh duck this is the true answer I'm getting aroused just thinking about doing this. When you wake up and you think it's almost time to get up for the day but you look at your clock and you still have 2 hours left to sleep. Or you realize it's your day off. I'm a sicko who purposely sets my alarm on the weekends even though I don't work. Just so I can wake up and turn it off and go back to sleep. Honestly? Taking a dump that comes out so nice your res isn't even dirty feels so good. Edit, my top comment is about taking a dump. Edit 2, gold damn it stranger. Ghost wipe. Drawing an ace. When you finally dislodge that piece of food from your back teeth. I have braces. So this feeling x10. Same. But. I get mine off tomorrow. I'm so excited. Unblocking your nose. That first inhale. Gross warning. Even better is pulling out a mass of dry and semi-dry mucus that instantly provides relief and a clear airway. It's one of the most rewarding feelings in life. Dude. The duckers that feel like they are attached to your brain. You pull them out and unblock a six lane roadway and can breathe like if you are on a cool countryside. When the scissors glide as you're cutting a piece of paper. I could hear the noise. I could hear the noise. Woo s h h h h h h h Hot shower after a few days without one. One of my best showers was after camping through Mongolia for 12 days. We had a couple campsites with cold water. It was cold pretty cold too despite being the summer and it just wasn't worth it. Flush toilets after quite literally eating in holes in the ground was also amazing. Seriously. I've said jokingly in the past that the best part about hiking trips is the moment you get back and take a shower. That or sitting down in a restaurant to eat. I've got so many great memories about having several day hiking trips and then immediately all going out together in some lodge in the nearest town and ordering real food. It feels almost surreal. It's amazing how being out in the wilderness for longer than just a few days can make coming back to civilization feel. Being out there is amazing too though. I'm just focusing on this particular aspect. Clean sheets right out of the dryer. Clean sheets. Clean PJs. And going to bed after getting out of the shower. 
when you're carrying something heavy for a long period of time and finally get to set it down. Edit, I love all the different interpretations of this. Really shows all walks of life. Keep being you. My team in CS. Interesting how CS can stand for either Counter-Strike or Computer Science. But is relatable and relevant either way. That feeling when you know you made someone very proud of you. Who's a good boy? That's right. You're a good boy aren't you? Finally letting loose with that massive crap that's been yelling at you all afternoon. In high school I walked into the bathroom and smelt a horrid smell. I walked over to the store and there is the biggest it I've ever seen. It was a football. It covered four tiles and was solid. I couldn't believe my eyes whoever took this. It must have almost passed out from birthing that sucker. Whoever it out must have known it was a monster because he dumped it on the ground. As I was leaving two dudes asked me if it was still there and I said yes and we all laughed together. As we were laughing the janitor came up with his cart and gave us all this look I'll never forget. It was a mixture of defeat and pure sadness. Poor bastard. Edit. Whoops a word. He must have been proud of it to display it so prominently. Perhaps even to go so far as a few selfies? Edit. Repeated word. Cracking your back and feeling a few CMS taller. I used to have these chairs back in high school that had the perfect height, so I could lean back, and they'd crack my back, in the good way. It felt so good. Especially after long exams or at classes. Now all I have are big comfy chairs and I probably need to get a massage. I bet you're talking about those desks with the chairs attached to them. I love those desks. Perfectly cracked my lower mid back. HNNGGG.